Or how's this feel? Nice and cool. That is chilly. Yeah, it is chilly. Let's go back on trail. Segment six. Heading for Breckenridge, Frisco. Be there, what, three days? Get into town and relax a little more. Tomorrow we'll be heading up and over Georgia Pass. Be the first time we break tree line on the trail. Probably still a little snow up there somewhere. And Kenosha Pass is a nice reprieve after being in the first five sections where it's a lot warmer. The sun tends to really beat you down, it's drier. Today there's water every two, three miles. The altitude is definitely here, probably 10,000 and above for the rest of the day. A lot cooler temperatures. Looking down into the Park County area, 285 as it trails off to Fair Play and Jefferson. Starting to see the mountains now. It's just a nice place to get to on the trail. See Georgia Pass and Mount Guy out across the way. That'll be a destination for tomorrow morning. Camp uh, over there tonight, just below tree line. Give us a short hike in the morning. These sunflowers are awesome. Ah, Dead Man Creek, great water source. Now, so far, segment six is plenty of shade, plenty of water, plenty of wildflowers, and a whole bunch of mountain bikers, all of which are being extremely polite. This is a nice little stop after you leave Kenosha Pass. Clean, clear water. And Jefferson Creek. Man, this is really nice. What a beautiful place to stop and have lunch and get water ah this is great after a little lunch at jefferson creek a lot of hiking up through the woods starting to pick up some pretty good views Won't be long, Georgia Pass, but we're gonna hold that off till tomorrow more than likely. Especially with the clouds we're starting to see overhead. Rather not be up on the pass with something opening up. And we stopped at a little seasonal creek, about two and a half miles from tree line. Oh, probably another Three and a half, four miles from Georgia Pass. Another probably seven miles to our next water source, known water source. Heard of some snow fields. 
up on the pass that are melting off and creating decent water sources but we're not going to count on that and it's kind of early in the day made pretty good time getting up here we had planned it camping at that last water source but it's uh oh i don't know two o'clock skies are looking good haven't heard any thunder or anything just some broken clouds up above us so we're gonna push on the very least to the edge of tree line make a decision there so far so good so much nicer to be in these cooler temperatures drier air not so humid but <laughs> we had to find a negative side every time we stop at one of these little water sources the mosquitoes find us quickly so we're having to fight those guys off other than that a really good hike today been real nice out here Yeah, less than a mile from tree line. The trees are thinning out here pretty good. Getting some pretty commanding views of the scenery. At Mount Gaiata to our left here. Standing tall. Georgia Pass is about a mile, mile and a half. So we're gonna get up here and see what we can see and make a call on whether or not to go ahead and go over the pass or just camp on this side so far so good the weather's holding Ooh. down there this morning slowly making our way up to the pass here just about there that guy just sitting there calling us yeah I don't think we'll be summoning that today Been watching these clouds pretty close. Nothing threatening. We're just hoping not to get wet. <laughs> You're talking about a big temperature change. It's definitely cooled off up here. Nice little breeze. Could be chilled by the clouds and any moisture in them. Sure feels good. Who'd have thunk we were down there in segments one, two, and three and just cooking. Now we're up here thinking, you know, if it gets any colder, you might want to put on a jacket. It's a whole new world now. Mm -hmm. Different mountains. This changes everything. Georgia Pass. Whew. We had no intentions of coming up and over this today either. So, big round of applause to us. We did it. Ah, oh, so beautiful. Yeah, moving off the pass. Just a whole new set of valleys and mountains. New territory. New stuff to look at. 
we are officially on track with the Colorado Trail and the Continental Divide Trail now. Woohoo! So we can log miles for both trails. How are we doing back there? I'm good. Hair's all over the place. We're I'm hiking. Huh? We're hiking. Yeah. If we run into any bears, I'll apologize. Thank you. For the uh, you know social statement, the fashion statement. I'm, I'm messy. My hair all over the place. Well, I'm doing good. I'm doing good. Feeling good. We're feeling very well. Good four miles past where we had planned on stopping. So not bad. 4.30, still got several hours of daylight. Yeah. So let's look for the perfect campsite. Well, besides all the mosquitoes, it was a nice place to stop for the night. The morning warmth is soon arriving. And we camped just below 11,000 last night. So, got a little breeze. Kind of cool night. Definitely the coldest we've been so far. Stayed nice and toasty in the tent. First thing this morning, we're just going down. All kinds of switchbacks, downhills. Kind of nice. Cause some mornings you get up and you just go straight up. But today is actually kind of an easy day for us. We did five extra miles yesterday. So whatever we do today is plus mileage again. And tomorrow we get into Breckenridge. So that should be a short day depending on how much extra we do today. So we're just kind of lollygagging. We have time on our side right now, which is nice. Get up early and start hitting the miles again. And we're both hikers and not really campers. You get into camp only to rest really we're always anxious just laying there waiting for the light so we can get up and go again love hiking in the morning it's always so quiet and peaceful Oh wow, look at the water. <laughs> hmm. oh. <sighs> nice. We think we've entered a section of the trail that's considered to be haunted. There's lots of howling animals. We hope to make it out of here alive. If anybody finds us, just know that we love our families. And we wish we could have made it out of here. I don't know how many of them there are, but I'm glad they're gated. Because <laughs> if they were really hungry, 
Somebody forgot to feed them. There's so many. Wow, that's crazy. I don't know how long we were climbing. <laughs> Felt like forever. It's more of a, a mental fight than a physical fight at times. We finally made the top of the ridge. Our slow descent now is roughly uh, 10 miles to Breckenridge. Doubtful we'll do all that today. We've already gone probably 10 miles as it is. Thankfully the climb is over and it's all downhill. So we're just kind of strolling across the top of this ridge before the descent starts. Just kind of being lazy about it. Probably eat lunch here at some point or another. Enjoying some flat ground, that's for sure. And we could see off in the distance the ski lifts on top of some of the ridges that surround us. So you know you're getting close to ski resorts now. Everything's about to change again. Loving the switchbacks. <laughs> well, you can't complain about a bench out in the middle of nowhere, can you? Especially with a view. Nice spot for a tent. <laughs> Thunder overhead. I'd say this is like the most perfect place you could uh, come up with for stopping for lunch. Or even the day if we wanted to. We're, uh, oh, probably six miles from Breckenridge. You can see Lake Dillon from here even. And we don't plan to actually be in there till tomorrow. So we have all the time in the world. And a beautiful view. Nice bench. But storms overhead. So we're gonna get ourselves a nice little spot over here under these trees and take a break, get some lunch, maybe even just stay for the night. Nothing like the Columbine. Uh, we got ourselves a nice room with a view tonight. This is unbelievable. You got wildflowers galore. Just kind of overlooking this valley that looks all the way down into Dillon and the reservoir. And some of the other little ski towns down there. Pretty cool spot here. And if you wanted luxury beyond that, there's even a bench here, of all things. Who would have thought? This is a first. I've never seen a bench out here in the middle of a trail. <laughs> Unbelievable. But you can see why it's here. Oh, that was a long, cool, rainy, wet night. Luckily, we were in the tent before all the rain came. But it probably rained for at least six solid hours. 
Everything is drenched out here this morning. Very moist. When we got up, there was fog rolling over the tops of the ridge lines and dropping into the valley. Still kind of cloud covered down by Dillon and Breckenridge. Alrighty, we have a moose really close to the trail, if not on the trail. So we'll see what's going to go here. She seems content to be eating. Oh, mama with a calf. Okay. So, we're just going to come over here and hang by this tree for a minute. <laughs> She's good. She's good. She's good. And there's your morning heart palpitation. <laughs> Been a bit of bull, I felt better. Now mama with a baby. Mama moose with a calf. Right next Get to the trail. Up. I certainly can't complain about walking here. Nice sloping valley. Seeing moose and deer. Wildflowers. Snow-capped peaks. Pretty darn cool. And that will conclude segment six. Pizza.